Testing centres across Argentina are now seeing lines like this amid record daily coronavirus infections. Nearly 21,000 cases on Monday, more than 22,000 on Tuesday. Even the president, Alberto Fernandez, has COVID-19, despite having received two doses of the Sputnik V vaccine earlier this year. Fernandez is still isolating. He cut a lonely figure on Wednesday as he announced new measures to curb the infection rate. As president of the nation, I have the political responsibility to take the reins and continue leading the country. But in these circumstances, my human condition prevails, which obliges me to take care of the life and health of the Argentine people before anything else. Restrictions include a three-week curfew from midnight to 6 a.m. Bars and restaurants must close at 11 p.m. Social activities in private homes are suspended and gatherings in public spaces are limited to 20 people. The government faces opposition to imposing any restrictions, but it is aiming for what it calls three weeks of greater effort to slow the rate of infections and advance with the vaccine campaign. Yet Argentina's neighbours, Uruguay and Chile, have administered more vaccines per capita, but face an even more dramatic situation. Students in Uruguay had been anticipating a return to classes next Monday. That's now postponed indefinitely. The country is currently registering the highest number of daily cases per million in the world. Uruguayan President Luis Lacalle Pou said the country hopes to see the results of the vaccine program in early May. Meanwhile, Chile boasts one of the fastest vaccination rollouts in the world. It has approved the use of the CanSino vaccine this week, but is reporting record ICU occupancy. The region is becoming overwhelmed by cases of COVID-19. As one Argentine provincial governor put it on Thursday, they're not facing a wave, but a tsunami.